for the Galaxy S4. Um, kind of neat. It's called Bullet Shield, but I'm pretty sure that it's not bulletproof. It's got some pretty neat technology built in. Um, you're probably familiar with Tech 21's um, cases that uh, basically, uh, when dropped or whatnot, the impact is spread across um, the entire surface instead of, say, for example, in this case, um, concentrating in one area. And that's the same technology with the screen protector here is um, it does the same thing. There are three layers. Uh, the first layer, uh, basically, it's the hard top, and it spreads um, the impact across the, the whole entire surface. And then the second layer, which um, it it's featuring BASF's bullet shield protection polymer, which absorbs the impact. And then there's a third layer here as well. Uh, it's also a soft base layer where it, it you know, it's an additional um layer where it absorbs the impact so basically it protects the uh, the surface of your phone especially something this expensive so with that let's go ahead and uh, get into this thing and apply it according to uh, Tech 21 it's got a self healing anti-scratch which means that uh, if you happen to scratch the surface um, the scratch will go away over time probably. It's one touch adhesive gives bubble free applications in seconds and uh, that means that you can use it immediately. You don't have to wait for the bubbles to uh, go away or be annoyed. Um, perfect optical clarity. Let's see how uh, that stands. So take a look at uh, the Galaxy S4 here as it is right now and then we'll see how it looks after installing the bullet shield screen protector by Tech 21. And by the way, I'm using Google Glass to um, do this installation. This is one of those moments where I'm glad I have both hands while recording at the same time because um, it's mounted on my face. So what do we get? Fancy box. You get the screen protector inside a nicely sealed bag. Instructions. First you clean the, the phone, obviously. Remove tab one and the line. One touch right in the center. Um, remove Access bubbles with squeegee. Remove tab two. So we'll look at that here in just a second. And let's go ahead and get the screen cleaner out. And this is a uh, solution free application, meaning that uh, you don't have to worry about getting your device wet. I want to make sure I get all the dust off the uh, display here. Something I want to ask Tech 21 about is whether um, the screen protector is reusable. So if something happens to my device, um, I want to make sure that I can still use it on another um, Galaxy S4. So that let's go ahead and tear into this. Okay. So according to the instruction. I just cleaned the display off. It looks clean. What do you think? Um, step one, peel off and apply. That sounds easy enough. Let's make sure it's quite clean, or at least reasonably clean. Peel this off. This is kind of a red layer. That's kind of neat. Okay. And I'm going to align it. It is kind of interesting because it doesn't 
feel like it's glass, like some of the other technology, uh, like some of the other um, glass or hardcover screen protector that I've tested, such as uh, the ones from Spigen. So, okay, all right. That's, that looks like it's as straight as, whoa, that was pretty cool. So it's kind of spread across the display and it's so cool. I mean, basically it just clears day and there's still one more layer on top here that I need to um, peel off, but there's just some bubbles along the edge here that I can just kind of squeeze squeegee out by the way I hope this uh, video is coming through nicely I won't know until uh, I'm done here and take a look at how it turned out okay so let's see how it works so one thing I want to point out um, Tech 21 cut out the top here so that the front facing camera is exposed all the sensors are exposed and then the um, the multi-touch button here is also exposed all right let's go ahead and peel this off top layer it's kind of doing some funky stuff underneath here but that's easily fix by just kind of pushing down, pressuring. Okay. Oh man, it's looking really great. Can't even hardly tell there's a screen protector on there. No bubbles. Super clear as if there's nothing on the top and uh, let's take a look at the front facing camera and see if the video is obstructed I mean the front facing camera is obstructed and it looks quite fine to me wow pretty impressive I would definitely highly recommend Tech 21's bullet shield protection system for your iPhone 5 and the Galaxy S4, which by the way, I will install next on my iPhone 5 because they were kind enough to send a review unit as well for the iPhone 5. Thanks a lot for watching this uh, unboxing and installation of uh, Tech 21's Bullet Shield uh, screen protector. Hi everyone, Vincent Wynn here for Slash Gear, um, back with the Tech 21 bullet shield screen protector um, after a single complaint from Ari Greengard, uh, one of my friends slash follower on Twitter uh, for having motion sickness after watching the installation of uh, the screen protector on the Galaxy S4 I'm going to try to um, do the second installation on the iPhone 5 and try not to move my head too often because apparently it's shaky according to Avi and that uh, it's giving him motion sickness. I think it's just him personally. Um, so with that let's go ahead and skip all the formalities of introducing um, Tech 21's Impactology Impact Shield uh, technology. So with that let's go ahead and just tear into the box. But let me tell you it's not easy um, keeping your head still while you're doing things because the camera is attached to my head because every movement will cause it to move around so I'm doing my best consciously to keep it still now before I get into the screen protector uh, the new screen protector I want to show you that I am using a glass version of another screen protector by Spigen and this is even, even though it's beveled, there's another version that's not beveled. Um, since it's glass, it does chip. And in this case, there is a little bit of a chip up here already. And if you have kids, 
uh, that you hand your your device off to, it can be quite dangerous. So that's why I'm not super thrilled about Spigen's um, all glass screen protector because when that happens, it just it can cut and it's just awful. So with um, with Tech 21's screen protector, I'm pretty excited because um, it's it's after. I mean, actually, it's a lot thinner. I don't know if you can see it through here, but it's a lot thinner than the the glass version, and uh, I have a feeling that it won't chip or uh, break off as easy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and peel this off. It should come off quite easily, and I'll just save it because you can reuse it on another device. Just toss that aside there. Okay, so the screen should be kind of clean. I'll just leave that there for a second. Wipe it. We'll just go through the same process as uh, the Galaxy S4 installation. All while trying to keep my head perfectly still and do everything else around me just so that Avi doesn't get motion sickness. Okay, first step one, actually I'm gonna look and make sure that the display is clean. I've noticed on the Galaxy S4 installation, um, I don't see any dirt or uh, bubbles or anything like that, so I'm extremely impressed so far. Toss that aside. And once again, you simply align and once it's aligned, you just drop it. And then make sure everything's in place. One touch in the middle. And you should be able to see how it just spreads out. And then if it doesn't complete, actually there is, I can see a speck of dirt in there. So that's gonna bug me. Uh, okay, hold on a second. I gotta think how I'm gonna do this. I think I can use tape to clean that off. Um, I'm gonna pause the video for a second and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back here. I'm gonna use a little bit of painter's tape to um, get that speck of dirt out from under there. There you go. It's that easy. That is, by the way, is a great trick if you ever apply one of these things and um, you get dirt or whatnot underneath the display. And let's turn it off so we can kind of see the bubbles. Okay, looks pretty good so far. Keeping my head still. And I would say that's another perfect installation. Thanks again for watching. This is Vincent Wynn for Slash Gear.